For this question, we should maybe just quickly remember what the derivative of cotan is. It's minus cosecant squared, right? So I would also, before we even do the derivative, I would like to rewrite this a little bit. I think it'll help. Let's write it like this. It's the same thing, right? Of course, the two, it looks nicer when it's there, but it may be a little bit confusing. And when we write it outside like this with a pair of brackets around everything, I think it makes it much more clear of how the derivative is going to go. The power of 2 is the outermost function, and then the cotan, and then we're going to finally work our way inside to the sine. So let's start off with the derivative of something squared. So the 2 comes to the front, power of 1 times the derivative of that thing. And what goes in the brackets? Well, cotan sine x. Great. Now, notice how we've peeled away the square. Now we're working at we're taking the root of cotan. These brackets aren't really necessary, so I'll just get rid of those. What's the derivative of cotan? Like we said, it's minus cosecant squared. So what does chain rule say? By the way, I, I just want to point out something here. Um, I cannot uh, I cannot write this, right? Minus cosecant squared. Because this looks like a subtraction, right? I really need a bracket here. So minus cosecant squared of what I'm ignoring times the derivative of what I'm ignoring. And what it, what is it that I'm ignoring? Well, sine x. And notice how we've peeled away now the cotan. And we finally reach the derivative of the innermost function, which is the sine. And the derivative there is just going to be cosine. The derivative of sine is cosine. Um, I'm just looking ahead a little bit. This minus sine, I'm going to pull that out front, put it in front of the 2. And inside here, it'll just be, and this sine x, or sorry, the derivative of sine x is cos x, right? I'm going to put that in front. So I have cos x and then cosecant squared of sine x. I think ordering it like that looks a little bit better. And these brackets here are actually not even necessary anymore. Why don't I just do one more step? I'm going to put the cosine in front of the minus 2. I think it looks best like that. There's no real one way to write this answer. And uh, I think we'll just stop there. So this is here. This part is right here. And this cos x came to the front here. And that's good enough.